<laughs> yes what's good everybody quick shit vid <clears throat> i don't know where this is gonna go but these this is my thoughts on the sack the board so everybody's saying now i don't know sometimes you don't know whether it's just loudest people or wind youth people you know because there's some hysterical stuff going on on twitter i get notified about it as well which i, I try not i try to just ignore it and not get sort of like welled up in the in the crap that you know in the in the awfulness of it all but Sometimes unavoidable, like people putting little rat, you know, like saying that Autumn Kinnear shouldn't be allowed back into Ellen Road. And, and I know that's just crazy talk, but it's all too emotional for me. I think everyone needs to calm down a little bit. It looks terrible. But funnily enough, I was speaking to my brother, it's like, it's pretty funny, you know, somebody has to be in the relegation zone, doesn't it? And unfortunately, it's us at the moment, which is horrendous. But it doesn't mean that we're the worst run club in the league. I think people look for an excuse immediately and... You know, Bielsa was the excuse last year. They got rid of him. Marsh became the excuse a little bit, sort of less, less so. I don't think many people were expecting him to get sacked as quickly as he did after investing so much in January. But I, I struggle to, to blame the board wholeheartedly. I think Orta's attitude was, he was always going to blow up. He's never going to be at the club for that long is he with, with just how mad he is talk about I'm saying some Leeds fans are emotional he's extremely emotional too much and it irritates me a bit but it's also quite funny so it's a catch 22 Kinnear I think I think they've done a good job I can't help it I do I think we've we've had some terrible terrible ownerships over well over my lifetime uh, and when we thought it were good when we were spending splashing cash and that it, it won't good worry that all blew up in his face so We've had Bates and stuff. Bates used to get a bit of shit among my mates, but ultimately he steadied the ship, didn't he? It's a business. And Raz is an incredibly intelligent bloke, and I'm in no way, shape or form uh, going to start pretending that I can start making some financial remarks among a man like that, you know. I mean, just as a side note, he's, he's become like a director at DAZN, which is the new streaming service that's obviously pumping millions and millions of pounds into it and i don't think you make a schmuck that, that, that you know an executive director at a company like that if he ain't got plenty about him he's made he knows sport he's got all the uh well the, the reason why we get we're in the shape we're in is because of rads and he's you know he's made money through sport entertainment and he sold like the leases on and whatever i think he did a bit of tennis and so he's, he's well in well in with Adidas is what you know. He's a powerful man in the sporting arena. He's no fool. That's why he's got forty niners on board. It's we're well run, and, I, and I'm not. I'm not having it any other way. I don't know what people want. They've invested really pretty heavy. I'm, I can't be asked with all this net spend wank that everybody comes out with. Like it makes a blind bit of difference. Surely you've just got to look at the window as the window is, and I don't mean this window that nobody can see, but I'm looking out of a window. The, the transfer window or the market and not like the market in Leeds City Centre. But the, you just got to look at each individual market and just go, well, how have we, how have we actually done? I've said it all all along. It's 50-50. It's total potluck. Some players come, are amazing. They're just all, all statistics on a database. Everybody's trying to get the same players, same managers, same everybody. It's not great that we can't get a manager. That doesn't look good, evidently. But that is the nature of the beast. That's where we're at. So... I think the thought it'd be, I think the thought, thought the thunk, you know, that it'd go a little bit smoother than it has. It obviously isn't doing, but they're also not just panicking. No need to just go out and just get absolutely anybody. Um, but yeah, it's best we've been run since 2000. We were relatively upbeat last week as well. Like when, when we drew with Scum, that was a good game. Everybody were like in a decent mood about the club and then it's gone a bit tits up. I said in other video, but... The Southampton results, just ignore the fact it's Chelsea. They haven't turned a corner. We beat Liverpool, we beat Chelsea, we've beat we drew with scum. It's like it doesn't make a difference. Then you go to Everton and you get you get dominated and beat. It's, we were wank yesterday. Southampton are wank, Bournemouth are wank. You know, th this thing th this thing it is what it is. Maybe that maybe we're just shit. Maybe it's not the board's fault. Maybe we're shit. And then anybody thought about the possibility that we're just not really turning up to big games like Everton. 
you know, Nonto looked up for it. Firpo, unbelievably, was our best player yesterday. So, yeah, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Pete. I'm just sick of it. <laughs> it's gone relatively well since we've come up. We're not established in Premier League anymore. We're not what we once were. We we are Leeds United, but they're not. We're not a powerhouse at the moment, and Rads is trying to get us towards being one. Uh, but yeah, that's my overall my rant. I think if you look at all the signings over the time over time, Rafinha, unbelievable signing. Tech money aside of it, if you'd have paid forty million for Raf, nobody'd have batted an eyelid. If you'd have paid forty million for Nonto with how he's played, nobody'd have batted an eyelid. We've got these for bargains; it doesn't make a difference, but. You know, we picked them up when nobody else wanted them and they've come and actually performed. Rock has done well ish. I think he's decent. I think when you sign Rocker and Adams and they both come into central old in midfield and both play every week and then we obviously have just have fucking McKenny. You know, then you bring McKenny in, that's brilliant. Brilliant business. Rock is not quite at it. You bring McKenny in who looks like a beast, you know, them two in there are awesome. Nonto's a brilliant signing. Even young lads like Geldart, Somerville and stuff, they were good signings. A bit of a shame Geldart's moved on, only on loan, but that's by the by. Rodrigo, and now you'd have to say, has, has got brought his weight. Vobber or Wobber or Wobber or whatever the fuck he's called. He's now, it looks like the main centre-back. Cox's been in the side and he looks like the mate, they're the pair. You know, that's a, that's pretty good in terms of transfers. I think what what happens a lot as well, which is not I'm not knocking any Leeds fans. I love all Leeds fans, but what happens is because you watch our club every single week and you're so dedicated to it, and it's awesome that everybody is. You you do have blinkers on, including me. I'm not saying I'm immune to this. I certainly do. Where you think your players are either super shit or super mint, and the team is either super shit or super. There's no like. There's no balance. So like. That's what I'm saying. When was the last time you sat on what, however many games are in now, 20 games or whatever, when was the last time you watched even five Southampton games on the bounce, all 90 minutes, just watched every single... I don't know who plays for him. I know there's Ward Prowse bangs in a free kick every two weeks. I know that he does that. I don't know anything else about him. I don't even know... That, I don't even know the guy's name that just got sacked from Southampton. I can't even remember his name. He's so meaningless to me. It could be Mike Dean for all, all I know. I don't know the guy. I know he made a, a tit of himself, and I know the stories about it, and he managed loot, and I know, you know, but I don't, I don't know him. I honestly, I can't think of his name. I'm trying to think. I don't even know how to print. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce anybody's name, but Hasselhoff, Hasselhoff, whatever the fuck he were called, that were potentially some people were saying get him in, which I, I don't mind him as a manager, but I don't know him. And in terms of just bringing in a a random manager like Raul I spoke about and stuff, you don't know what you're getting with Raul. And you, and it's a mint. I'd be well behind it if Raul turns up. You'd be buzzing because it's Raul, but, you know, it just appeases people for a few months and then he gets sacked and then we move, we're in the same position again. So I don't know. I know I'm on a bit of a mad rant. But, yeah, my, my, I think my overall riding thing is I challenge you to watch every single Southampton game for the next 10 and see what you actually think on an individual basis of their players. Because it's not nice watching, and it's not nice watching us. I think it's been a bit of a weird one on a sort of weird positive note. Like, the season sort of caught up on us. When we were getting beat a lot under Bielsa, it was blatant that we, it were going tits up, or we, we were in real trouble. But I think what's happened, it's been like, the, whatever the stat is, we've won four games this season or summer. I think the World Cup break didn't help in terms of like my actual mind to think we're in a better position than we actually are. And like we beat Chelsea early on, that was a mint result, and you think that's that's positive. Then, well, I don't know what what order these are, but then like before World Cup, we beat Liverpool last minute, and it's like real like high energy thing where you know everybody's buzzing. We had a few last minute goals where we rescued a point and stuff, and it felt good, but we weren't picking up any results. And then the break happened. Then we do work well against Scum and you think we're all right and then suddenly you get beat to Scum, beat to Everton and we're in a real shit show. So, But yeah, ultimately, or whatever, Kinnear, Rads, I just don't think it's their fault. I think Art has done a, a decent job in terms of signings. I know I'm going to get loads of shit for this video, but I don't even care. 
what comes up must come out. So that's my that's my thoughts on it. Could it be run better? Probably. Could it be run worse? Certainly. Do I know how to run it? No. Do you know how to run it? I'll let you answer that question. You know, people. I had an argument with a lad at footy the other week, and when we weren't signing anybody before, we've signed everybody because we've you know we've signed a lot of players. And he was saying, well, I'm a primary school teacher and it's not my job to find these players. It's somebody else's job to find these players. Like, why aren't they finding them players? Like, because it's really difficult, dude. It's really, really hard thing to do. Can you imagine trying to do that? You're looking at a plethora of players that, however many, every single club's after. If if the, if you can just pluck these players out, everybody would get them, wouldn't they? The, you know, the market's insane anyway, money-wise. It's total shot in dark. Somebody commented actually the other week. Sorry, I've not. I didn't write the name down because shit just pops in my head. Mentioned like Forlan. Forlan's a world beater in Spain. He was unbelievable, unbelievable at international level. Everything. Man, you dog shit. Absolutely horrendous. Veron came over. I mean, Veron were relatively decent, but at Man U, but still gash in comparison to what he was like at Lazio and stuff. You do not know what you're getting. Crespo struggled. I used to love Crespo. But that's a side side note. Shevchenko struggled it's not these things are done deals it's not it's not that easy but that's the sign is talk anyway so but that's a different story but that's my ramble so take it easy everybody let us know what you think in a bit the way they've been the results we've had one defeat in 13 i've got muppets from leeds talking about precious on us and bamford and foreshaw and uh, a couple of others and it's over to you and this that and the other. they got beat seven times since Christmas, we've been beaten, beaten once. We've set it up from Christmas to be in the right. Boom. Surprises why I asked.